सो आवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज लॉन्गेस्ट पैलिंड्रोमिक सबसीक्वेंस ओके सो लॉन्गेस्ट पैलिंड्रोम सबसीक्वेंस सो गिवन अ सीक्वेंस ऑफ लेटर्स फाइंड द लॉन्गेस्ट पैलिंड्रोम सबसीक्वेंस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल क्वेश्चन माइड बी आस्ट वॉट इज अ पैलिंड्रोम सो पैलिंड्रोम इज अ वर्ड विच इज रेड सेम फ्रॉम द बिगनिंग एंड फ्रॉम द एंड ओके सो लेट्स टेक वन एग्जाम्पल सिविक सो सिविक is like same from beginning i can write c i v i c it is read from the end also it is c i v i c you can have something like a b c b a so here it is same from here a b c b a and from this direction also it is a b c b a so this is a palindrome okay so now what happens is given some sequence of letters so like let's say we are given x a y b z b a so here what you have to do is find out the longest palindrome subsequence so one subsequence of palindrome that we see is a b b a and in fact z will also come so a b z b a because what happens a b z b a is same if we read it from beginning or end so a b z b a and from here also it's a b z b a so this is a palindromic subsequence in the sequence x a y b z b a okay so now the problem is to how to find the longest palindromic subsequence so again the first of all we can take a brute force method okay so brute force method can be what i will choose all the subsets so if the length of the sequence is n i will choose all the subsets and then try to see if it is a palindrome so i will see if the first and last letters are matching if the second and the second last letters are matching so this way it is an exponential algorithm of 2 to the power of n and we don't want that thing we want something smaller and more efficient so what we do we will look at can we do it using dynamic programming okay so can this be done using dynamic programming this is the question so let's see here so can we write something some recurrence relation optimal substructure we can find so that we can write so let's see here so what can we say so one thing is that we have to once we have to begin from the beginning from the start and once we have to begin from the end and if those two matches then it means that okay we are finding some kind of palindrome that okay c and c are matching then we can move forward here and i and i were matching so i'm coming to some palindrome so what we will do is so let's see so i will define a few things lp is the length of the longest palindrome from letter i to j so what can we say this is equal to 1 if i is equal to j isn't it so there is only one character in the string so there will be a palindrome of length 1 this is equal to 1 what will happen so we can write now that it will be equal to lp i plus 1 comma j minus 1 plus 2 if the sequence here there x of i is equal to x of j so let's see this thing clearly okay so what we are doing here is let's say we have a 
बी सी बी ए सो दिस इज एक्स सो एक्स ऑफ वन इज इक्वल टू एक्स ऑफ फाइव सो आई कैन से दैट ओके लॉन्गेस्ट पैलेंड्रोम फॉर वन कॉम ऑफ फाइव इज इक्वल टू लॉन्गेस्ट पैलेंड्रोम फॉर आई कैन इंक्रीमेंट आई नाउ टू कॉमा एंड आई कैन डिक्रीमेंट हियर बिकॉज आई हैव ऑलरेडी यूज दोज लेटर्स सो इट विल बी टू कॉमा फोर प्लस टू बिकॉज आई हैव ऑलरेडी फाउंड अ पैलेंड्रोम ऑफ लेंथ टू विच इज द फर्स्ट एंड द लास्ट लेटर आर मैचिंग ओके सो नाउ वॉट आई कैन डू इज टू कम ऑफ फोर आई कम सो दिस साइड अगेन आई सी एल पी टू कम ऑफ फोर इज इक्वल टू थ्री कम ऑफ थ्री प्लस टू एंड वॉट आई एम बेसिकली सींग दैट ओके बी एंड बी आर बोथ मैचिंग सो आई फाउंड अ लेंथ टू पैलेंड्रोम अगेन दीज टू आर गिविंग एडिंग टू लेंथ टू माई पैलेंड्रोमिक सबसीक्वेंस सो आई हैव नाउ L three comma three is just one, so it is a subsequence of length one. So this is one plus two plus two that was here. Okay, so this is of length five. We found a palindromic subsequence, but we might not always be so lucky. So then what will happen that if there was a z here and this was L p one comma six, if we were trying to find, then x of 1 and x of 6 are not matching so what we can do is either i can move this one forward so this one will become equal to lp this will be maximum of lp 1 comma 5 so i bring these two so i shift here and again these are matching or other one is i can move this one forward and try to see if it is equal to z so lp 2.6. So this thing also I can do. Basically, maximum of LP. So what can I write here? So this will become now LP. So it will be maximum of LP I plus one comma J or L P I comma J minus one. Okay. So we can make one recursive equation like this or recurrent recurrence relation. Okay. So if L P I J and let's look at one more thing is what happens to a subsequence of length two. so if ab so what is the maximum palindromic length of this sequence so here it is ab so i have just sub palindrome of length so one because ab is not equal to ba if both are same so we have length to palindrome so i can add one more case here saying that okay lp i comma j is equal to 2 if what happens if j is equal to i plus 1 and x of i is equal to x of j but it is equal to 0 if J is equal to i plus one, but x of i. No, it should be one if x of i is not equal to x of j. We are having one length palindrome because what a, either a or b I can take as a subsequence, which is used in palindrome. Okay, so this means what? Let's define the subsequence clearly. So I write. lp so lp i comma j is equal to 1 if i is equal to j and this is equal to 1 if j is equal to i plus 1 and x of 
i is not equal to x of j okay and this is equal to 2 if j is equal to i plus 1 and x of i is equal to x of j okay and otherwise it is equal to lp i plus 1 j minus 1 plus 2 if x of i is equal to x of j or it is equal to max of lp i plus 1 comma j or lp i comma j minus 1 so this is the definition and now we see that how we will use it for our dynamic programming so we see that we have got a recurrence relation so now only thing we need is somehow here again we will be using kind of memoization okay so we will be using memoization so pardon me if the spelling is wrong so we will use this so that we whenever we have calculated some results so we will store them and what happens now let's see with one example okay so what will be our example let's say our example is x a y b z b a okay so this is our example so and let's say so this is one two three four five six seven so these are the this is the sequence and i want to find the maximum palindromic subsequence okay so what i do so initially i know that okay so we can go to the next page in fact and try to write it again so our so x let it be what let it be something like p a y b z b a okay so now we will just number it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so now what I do I will start my construction so I know that okay LP I have to find LP 1 comma 7 so I compare first X of 1 and X of 7 so they are not same so what I do I will say that X LP 1 comma 7 is equal to max of so LP 2 comma 7 and LP 1 comma 6 so max of these two okay because the X of 1 is not equal to X of 7 next what I do I will recursively solve the solution here so let's solve this one so LP 2 comma 7 is equal to max of so let's see first so 2 comma 7 so they are equal x of 2 is equal to x of 7 so we don't need to write a max here so it will now become equal to lp 3 comma 6 okay because why so x of 2 is equal to x of 7 so that's why and we can write now our palindrome has increased by length 2 now let's see lp 3 comma 6 so lp 3 comma 6 so now x of 3 which is y is not equal to x of 6 so i have to write the definition here max of so let's use another color so it will be max of lp 4 comma 6 or lp 
3 comma 5 okay so now we see 4 comma 6 let's see this one so it will be now what l x of 4 is equal to x of 6 okay x of 4 is equal to x of 6 equal to b so we can write now right now lp 4 comma 6 is equal to lp 5 comma 5 plus 2 and what will happen this will be lp 5 comma 5 so we saw here lp i comma i is equal to 1 so we can have a 1 here directly because this is the base case and i can say now that okay so we can have now so this is 1 this is 2 and here this one becomes 3 and this one becomes now 3 plus 2 5 so lp 2 comma 7 becomes 5 and now what happens so this we have calculated lp 2 comma 7 is 5 and what is lp 1 comma 6 so if we calculate in the same way so lp 1 comma 6 is basically again x1 is not equal to x6 so we can do uh, so let's take another color so lp 1 comma 6 will be equal to so as x of 1 is not equal to x is so this will be max of lp 2 comma 6 and lp 1 comma 5 so now let's see 2 comma 6 so we have 2 comma 6 we will calculate and we see that okay a and b so they are not same so and lp 1 comma 5 are also not same so we will expand all these things so let's just do it for lp 2 comma 6 lp 2 comma 6 is equal to max of lp 3 comma 6 and lp 2 comma 5 so 3 comma 6 is also now it will expand and lp 2 comma 5 also they need to expand this way so we see that basically if we solve this all equation so we will find that the longest palindromic subsequence is this one lp 2 comma 7 which is 5 so let's try to just see from here because this is a small number or sequence so lp 1 comma 6 here the longest palindromic subsequence is like we don't have a really big palindromic so b z b is the longest palindromic subsequence here so if we find that thing so what happens if we expand this so it will now be max of lp 4 comma 6 or lp 3 comma 5 so 3 comma 5 there is no such palindrome but for 4 comma 6 we see bzb is one of the so this will come out to be 3 this was 5 so lp 1 comma 7 is 5 so we see this is the way for solving the longest palindromic subsequence i hope you understand this video and if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel and share this video among your friends thanks a lot